Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Today, uh, let's, paint, let's paint Bruce Springsteen. Okay, the colors I'm going to use are titanium white, uh, cadmium orange, orange hue, cadmium red hue, and ivory black. I'm going to add in the process permanent that is in green zone, or maybe blue, or yellow if I need to. The brushes I use are synthetic brushes. Okay, I'm gonna start just mixing a couple of colors. Oh, one for the light and the other for the shadow. Oh, first, I want to. I have to sketch. Uh, let me pick up a brush. Okay, I'm gonna mix black and orange here. The sketch a little bit of linseed oil. Okay, let's sketch the face first, always the overall shape. The center line of the the center line of the face, the line for the eyes, brows, nose, and mouth. Okay, remember we have to be checking all these measurements during the process from the brow to the nose, from the brows to the nose is the same distance from the bottom of the nose to the chin. Okay, in his case I think this distance is a little bit higher than this distance. Mm, I'm gonna check out on that. Hello Monique! Hello Irma, hello Beverly, hello Laura. Lornak Okay Now let's see the center line of the face Let's see the angles here from the corner of the eye to the bottom of the nose Okay Now let's see the overall shape from the brow to the bottom of the eye Okay, now the other eye, the same, overall shape. To see the overall shape, I'm trying to calculate just the height and the width. And just trying to simplify this as a geometrical shape. Okay, I try really hard to, not to see an eye here, just to see this shape. Okay. Let me see the nose, oh, the, uh, the forehead, uh, from the base of the nose to the bottom of the chin. From here to here, the middle is going to be the bottom of the mouth, I mean the bottom of the bottom lip. That means that the mouth is up here, this is the lower lip, the base of the lower lip and around here is the mouth yeah, of course uh, that's following the canon, just regular measurements for any face we have to adjust this, okay? It looks like the nose is aligned with the corner of the mouth here. Okay, hello, Nikki. Okay, that's nice, Nikki. That's really good. Hello, Heilu from Bosnia. Hello, Michael. Okay, uh, let's continue. I'm going to sketch one eye here and the other eye here. 
Okay, remember, this angle is really important. If you have this angle right from the base of the nose to the corner of the eye, the best way to get this right is just to use your brush, put on top of your picture. I mean, you have to print out the picture just kind of the same size and have to your left or right, really close to your painting, because in this way you can compare easily. You can do something like this, put on top of the picture and then move and see this angle is okay. The center line is okay, the angle of, of the eyes are okay. And you need to check out this uh those alight alightments, those proportions during the whole process. Okay. Let's work on the skin color. Uh, you know, I mean, I just have found this image, it's a black and white image. There is not a colored uh, version of this picture. I mean, I, I couldn't find it. But you know that the skin color is an orangey, grayish color. Right? It could be pinky, yellowish. You choose what to do. But it's around that color, okay? That means that I have orange here. And I need to light up this and gray down this. To light up, I add white. And to gray down, I add a touch of black. Okay, the more black you add, you're gonna gray down this color more and more. I'm gonna add more paint. Let me see, it's too dark, more white, more orange. If you don't like to use black, use blue, or tremoring blue, or cobalt blue. I think the color is okay. Obviously, I'm going to adjust this color, maybe I'm going to make it a little bit pinky or yellowish, it depends. Yeah. It just, I need to see more of this color and then I'm gonna adjust it. Hmm. Okay. I don't see too, too many shadows here. What I see right now is this angle here that's going to help me with the lightness. Okay, I got this color first. I'm going to add a darker color and a lighter color. I keep doing this because I'm trying to keep the process really simple. It's up to you, remember you wanna mix three, four, five, six values from the very beginning. That's okay, at the, at the end it's the same. It's always the same. Okay, I'm gonna mix a darker color here, orange white and black okay this color is a little bit darker
Okay, I'm stepping back, squinting down my eyes, and compare. Even now that you see that it's kind of a, just a sketch, okay, I, I, I have to do that. a darker color black and orange I'm squinting down my eyes again and I'm going to uh, let's say paint or draw the darker areas on the face I mean I, I keep my eyes squinted with my eyes squinted I'm doing this I'm doing this and I'm comparing with the picture okay I'm comparing with the picture I'm still comparing and still I still have my eyes squinted and I'm comparing with the picture mix a darker color more black a little bit of orange a little bit of red and I need some glazed oil <laughs> Here was the mixture. Okay, and then this paint. Here. You know what? I'm gonna paint all oh, the background too because I don't see the, the hair. Uh, I imagine that is kind of here. The ear is here, the hair should be here. And the same here. I'm gonna paint the whole background too. Later in the process, maybe I will change the color of the background.
now I have a value two three four values okay I'm going to use another brush I'm gonna mix from here a lighter value I can just add white to this one or I can just mix more you know this kind of simple I mean really simple just orange white and for this color a touch of black a tiny touch of black okay let me see okay, that's too bright I need to knock down the color a little bit more First, let me adjust my camera views. Look here, it looks kind of orangey. Yeah, I see in the camera it looks almost white. So shadow here to see it. That's the color. Stepping back and trying to see, okay. Light here, light here, here. Okay, now I'm gonna mix just some gray, black and white. A little bit darker. Now a reddish color. I'm gonna pick up another another brush. Okay. I'm gonna mix here red and white. Red and white, okay. Now, what I'm going to do, remember, is I'm gonna add this here. But what is gonna happen is just like you add this color on top of this, let's say, and this is the result you see here. Is this is this no first? Okay, looks like yeah, it's too pinky. What's gonna happen? It's gonna get too pinky, and I'm counting that everything is wet, and I'm gonna mix this color, okay.
Okay. Yeah, I think that's okay for now. Mm, yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna draw, continue drawing. I mean, when I say drawing, uh, about it's about the feature of the face, about the likeness. Uh, I have established um, a common color. This, I mean, this is uh, these are the colors usually that you're gonna find down on the face. I mean, of course, you can just enhance th those colors, saturate those colors more. You can add more colors, green, I don't know, whatever you want. Yeah, as soon as uh, you keep like this order between the reddish areas, uh, obviously this gray is because of the the area that is kind of greenish, because of the the area where it grows the beard. Yeah. Now I'm going to draw. I'm going to use this brush. Okay. Okay, let's draw. Let's step back. I'm going to see this, this again. Okay, what I'm doing here, remember when I started, started the sketching, I was checking out the overall shape and keeping that in mind always, okay? Just to be back just so to cut compare. Okay. I'm gonna use uh, another brush. This is a number zero. Sit here. Okay, let's continue drawing. I try to keep everything simple, even uh, with colors. You know that the color here on the sclera should be a little bit 
uh, a combination between a bluish color and the skin color but right now I'm just using this what I have here I'm going to add a little bit of gray in that area but do now um, that's uh, because I just try to uh, let's say that when I think about color I just think about color when I think about drawing I don't want to get distracted thinking that that area should be grayish, should be bluish I know that but at the moment I don't care I care about more the drawing aspect the proportions and to try to get the likeness when I'm done with that a little bit okay because I'm trying to get that just little by little and then I'm gonna start thinking about color again on the mouth a little bit okay let's add more paint for the lights I'm using the same brush as this one. Number zero, number zero, and it's the same number zero. You see the difference? So obviously this is the hair is just a little a little frayed out. That works perfectly. And because it's soft, I just can kind of lay down the paint. Uh, let's say that easily. Let's blend a little bit.
and this is the same brush number zero for blending so sorry that uh, I couldn't find these brushes exactly uh, these brushes in Amazon to put the link in the description box uh, you see you're gonna see a couple of links to some brushes just I found something really close to what I use but it's not exactly this I mean these are so cheap that <laughs> that's one of the reasons that you're not gonna find this in Amazon you see this this set is uh, of six two four six brushes and it's about what two two or three dollars I mean but the problem is that it's not gonna last long no they frayed out kind of fast but I, I love that because you know I, I use them for, for blending too Continue blending. You no know, blending is about just going really soft. It's about the, the right tool. I mean the brush. I always prefer round brushes. Really soft round brushes and with the hair just frayed out a little bit. Sometimes a lot. I have another brush here. See this one. Uh, this thing about blending is up to you, you can blend, you can add more paint. Sometimes I just go really, really thick with paint, not that much, I gotta say. And it just, it just, uh, I don't know, the weather maybe? <laughs> yeah, it's just like, a, whatever you want, that's gonna be okay. the comments a little bit. Hello Michael! Okay... Uh, let's see some... I wanna read if I see some question. Okay... Oh, welcome Beverly Cassidy Find Art. Hello David Stocco from Argentina Oh, you don't have Winsor & Newton? Oh, okay, any brand that's gonna be really close yeah. uh, Beverly is asking if I go live every day uh, No uh, Mostly Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays But mm, I gotta say not, not always For example, this week, uh, definitely, I think, yes, I think I'm gonna make a live stream Thursday and Friday too. Yeah, but sometimes something come out and I'm just, and just, I don't go live. Okay, I have to squint down my eyes, step back, and try to compare again. Hello Emma. Um, hello Marion. Thank you, Nikki. Nikki is saying is writing really good things about me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm, 
kind of stepping back. I'm going to add some uh, highlights. I'm looking for my brush. Where's my brush? Okay, here it is. I'm adding more white. Okay, some areas that there's going to be always highlights at the tip of the nose, this upper part of the nose, here on the cheekbone or this zygomatic bone. Okay, uh, here on the chin, uh, but you know that you gotta control this. It's not like it's not the same intensity everywhere. I mean that this light here it should be a little bit mu muted it shouldn't be as bright as this highlight or this highlight we need to have an order always usually uh, uh, one bright highlight is going to be on the tip of the nose and of and on the eyes yeah. and sometimes uh let's say that I see an image that it has highlights here 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 everywhere for any reason for the lighting for any reason I loved to adjust, they say adjust that, change that a little bit, and always trying to keep an order. You always have like a one highlight or two high, really bright highlights, and just kill down, knock down the other, the other highlights. Imagine, uh, I just think, imagine that the, the face is still alive. And you have three, four, five elements, and you add the same highlights to all of them. I mean, where's going to be your focal point? How do you read? How do you see a, a painting that is, has highlights everywhere? And I think in the same way when I paint in a portrait, obviously remember that in a, every portrait, the focal point uh, are always the eyes. The eyes drive our attention, always. Okay, let's draw in. When I mean draw in, I don't want to think about color, no blending, no anything. I'm going to try to capture the likeness and thinking again about proportions it's just like using a pencil and draw on paper without thinking about value without thinking about color nothing i'm gonna see the comments hello gregory from new jersey thank you hello jack Keep go see. Nikki saying I did my first portrait in March when I started following following Renzo. He really has taught me how to control oil paints versus acrylic. I'm almost ready for his one hundred dollars tier. Yeah, that's good to hear. <laughs> David, David Stocco, my grandmother was proven to from Cerro Pasco. Oh, that's nice, really nice. Stepping back. Mm, okay, I'm gonna draw some details. 
I was taking some time just to to rest from the image. Okay. Let's draw again. I'm gonna use a couple of brushes, one brush to put the paint and the other brush for a little bit of blending. Okay. If you need to, you can do this. I paint and blend. Okay, sometimes I do this all the time, sometimes I, do, I don't. But anyway, it's up to you. You can paint, paint, and uh, when you finish all this drawing, or and then the drawing aspect, I mean, of this painting. Then you can blend, or you can blend just as soon as you lay down the brush stroke, you blend. I was watching uh, a video yesterday, uh, I don't know, the year, I mean it was from maybe 2008, 2000, 2010, uh, Bruce Springsteen just in a concert, I don't know, uh, well, I mean, it was 2000, 2008, I think, no way I know he's old, eh? And then uh, yeah, there came to my mind just to the idea to paint him. It's so difficult to find good images. I found a really nice one that, but it was kind of a, too too small. But I couldn't see details. Stepping back, checking out again. Okay, let's work on the eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of this gray. Highlights to the eyes.
Leo. Ok. Sorry, I just lost my son. Sticking the dog for a walk. And my son is 15. I ask him well, where is he going? And ask him to don't spend too much time out. Let's see, the mouth should be a little bit up, maybe, a little bit down. Okay, I don't want to work on the mouth yet. Uh, let's work here a little bit. The shadow, I think I'm going to add more color to the shadow, warmer. Continue this work a little bit here. Okay, let me see if I add a little bit of, uh, there's a reflected light, I think. Mm. Okay. Let's make this a little bit warm. The shadow here, a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Keep the, this kind of bluish color here. We make this shadow a little bit bluish too. Okay, and now make this area a little bit orangey.
Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm combining just cool and warm colors and, you know, this is uh, usually a shadow like this is create some transparency and pop forward a shadow like this could just reset and create some depth those are little details just to uh, this difference between values uh, temperature it could be really subtle that's gonna add something to the painting I mean, there's a little details, little things that we do all the time just to create this illusion of depth. But it's always about that. Eh? I mean, that's uh, that's three dimensionality. Eh? We we create illusion of depth. To create illusion of depth, we we have to rely on edges and values, and of course, in temperature. Even when it's really subtle, we need to do that. I still I don't see the lightness yet. Okay, oh, I still need to work. Uh, I think I need to make the nose a little bit wider. to work with uh, let's say this color for the shadow and this color here okay now you see me adding some orange here you see blue orange blue orange uh, when I blend this you're gonna see that kind of disappear That's okay, I mean, so we sometimes we just, like I said, we have we want some subtleties. Obviously, when we add paint, it's more like uh, noticeable all, all the colors. Just like, remember, you go back in the video, you're gonna realize all the reddish. When I added this pink here, 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 it was just so intense. Now, as I paint, I blend, paint, and blend, you're gonna see kind of getting softer and softer okay this is another brush I read the comments just to take a rest from the painting. Mm. Oh, I'm reading the comments just. Uh, Hello Franco from Johannesburg, Johannesburg, South Africa. 
Hello, Shamir. Hello, Christine. Beverly is saying the okay, start painting black and white and now with color in oils. That's good. Hello Emma Jaramillo. Hello Dita. Michael White say love your painting by Kent Stan Springsteen. <laughs> okay, okay. Hello Miriam. David uh, Stockholm Schemic. I couldn't find a Lizarin Crimson in my city where all the color I can use in this replace. Okay. Okay, that's. The, uh, mm, I mean, I found once um, in another, another brand, uh, I had the same problem. And I remember the color was the name was Scarlet, and it was close to a Lizard Crimson. And I used it because uh, I mean I wasn't able to buy uh, the uh, the permanent Lizard Crimson, and it worked really good. I mean, if you have an idea about the the color, about how is the color? I mean, if you see the color here on my palette, you say, "Oh, that's a different green." So you see the color everywhere. Okay, uh, I think the only option is to go and see tubes of paint, open them and see the colors and look for something really close. Yeah. You have an idea there. This color was called scarlet, and it was really close to a Lizard and Crimson. Close enough. I mean, I don't use a Lizard and Crimson too much. I always use it. I'm gonna add it here. I always use it for some dark areas. Uh, but imagine I just that I just let's say a little, uh, almost nothing. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it because I mean I'm gonna use it in a minute. But let's say that you can get, you cannot get this Alisar and Greenson. I mean, that's okay. We, uh, for example, the Sorn palette that is just white, camel red, yellow ochre, and black is enough to create amazing portraits. And there's no need of Alisar and Greenson. I'm 
Remember that area is always a little bit of red. You see? I added this dark, kind of dark red. No, it's not a dark but I mean. It's a little bit darker than any any pink or reddish color. The reddish color here creates some transparency in that area of the the eye. This should be really subtle, okay? Right now I have just too, too much, right? I mean, I'm just going to blend that and making disappear a little bit. But now you have an idea. Okay, now I can add a little bit of gray or bluish color, that's gonna be just black and white. You know the black and white, uh, this gray color by mixing ivory black with white, you're gonna see kind of a bluish color. Two reasons for that is just the contrast and it's because ivory black is imagine ivory black like a really dark dark blue or imagine that when they were preparing this this black they just 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 drop a little tiny a tiny bit of blue I'm doing something wrong here with the eyes. <laughs> they don't look round. Okay, this is normal, okay? I gotta go back and forth correcting, correcting until I got the eyes right. Okay, I need to step back. Okay, yeah. a little bit closer. I'm mixing here white, a touch of black. black and white see here black and white I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see I don't know if get this closer like that.
Okay. Let's continue working. The mouth is too pinky. I'm just gonna knock down the color. I think it's better. Still too pinky. I'm gonna leave it there. I'll check out later on the mouth. Hello, Dita. Uh, magenta. Yeah, magenta is some of the same too. Like uh, Lisa and Crimson. Okay, David. Yeah. yeah. You've bought Car Carmine Red and Mother Lake. Okay. Hello, Barbara. Have you ever had the celebrity ask to purchase a painting you did for them? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> so difficult. By the way, uh, thank you, Barbara. I, I got uh, got the payment. The payment it was yesterday, or today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and if anyone wants to buy one of my paintings, I mean the paintings that I paint here on my YouTube YouTube channel. Usually the size is eight by eight, sometimes seven by eight is just one hundred or oh, one hundred forty dollars. Yeah. Marion still makes his lips and his eyes need to be a bit darker. Okay. Here, for example, here. This is black and white mixed with this color. I mean, you know that 
I just have four colors here. Everything is kind of a variation of an orange color. And if you like my channel, just press all the videos. Sorry, press like to the video, please. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please don't subscribe. Just like the video. I don't want you to subscribe. To subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Looks like it's more important these days. Just like the video. Check out something is not okay with the nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, this shadow is too dark. Yep, gotta work on that. I need to correct the shape of the brows. For example, here. Okay, now here too. I need another brush. Here again, I need more light. Right now, I'm just checking everything around the around the face. Okay, where is this lighter? Here is lighter. Okay, here too. to make this a little bit darker here darker here too okay where is okay lighter here See, I'm just going looking for value differences, some darker areas, lighter areas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, else? I have to continue checking values. I'm squinting down my eyes. Okay. Okay, here I need a little bit of shadow here. Okay. Okay, what else? Yes. 
something is not okay in this area. sure about that Let's see here. I'm gonna add more. Okay, I'm, I'm doing the shadows kind of warm. You see, it's kind of a really orangey color, and you see, really close this. You're gonna realize that the color is really kind of dark red. I'm going to add the same shadow here. A little bit, okay? A touch, just want to touch. And here. Okay. I'm just trying to give more color, bring more color to the face. Obviously, yes, yeah, some, some just touches, some tiny touches that bring more color without adding like an orangey skin color. Okay, remember, you have to think at some point about edges. Uh, edges always help to add to the illusion of depth. Color, edges, contrast, all of that. Uh, I mean, it's not just painting a portrait or get this uh, skin color. I gotta say, once you know how to paint the skin color, you're gonna realize that you're not gonna think about that too much. I mean, obviously we have, we're gonna be just fo focused about that, but that's not gonna be something that uh, we think that's gonna be like a kind of really, really important. We always gotta be pay attention to proportion. Eh? Uh, and getting close to the likeness. Yeah? Uh, and I don't know, but at the same time, even uh, when you get more uh, more experience painting, even that's not a guarantee about getting the likeness all the time. Yeah, relax. Relax, relax, and just paint. Um, now, if you let's say, repaint, if if even I mean even that when I paint, I I traced the drawing for a commission. Even when I do that, there's not 
even a guarantee that I'm gonna get the, the portrait perfect. Uh, one one of the reasons is because you know paint kind of move on the canvas. It doesn't gonna be always the same. Okay, and uh, I'm not saying that for everybody because you know that I speak just for myself. Uh, maybe it's just my way of painting. Yeah. It just came to my mind right now. One of my friends, I saw him working on a traced drawing, and he was really careful. I remember he was really careful. I adding paint, just layer by layer by layer. And okay, I thought that I had some order. I mean, um, ah yes, I have some order. And when I saw him, I thought, oh my God, this is. I felt kind of <laughs> messy with my painting. I kind of uh, uh, I didn't have an order. I mean, by comparison, yes, because he was really methodical. And I don't know, that's kind of personal. Sometimes I just, that's maybe one of the reasons that I don't like to paint commissions that much. Because, uh, you know, when I paint here in YouTube, if I don't get the likeness right, I mean, it's not like uh, people are gonna say, okay, yes. I mean, I mean, it's just what I think when I see uh, another portrait painter in YouTube. And I see that the likeness is not there. And I think, okay, yeah, he, he didn't do it. Or she didn't do it today. Maybe next portrait is going to be okay. Yeah, because there's, I know that's, there's not a guarantee that it doesn't matter how experienced is the painter. Okay, let me step back and check out. And yeah, I need to look, uh, I need to reduce this area here. Maybe just I'm gonna blend that edge, and with the blending, I kind of uh, I'm gonna try to narrow that area. Now, I see this shadow really dark. Uh, some things that we need to understand, this is a black and white image. We're not gonna copy all the values from a black and white image. Usually, uh, this kind of picture has more contrast. And uh, if I wanna copy this value, that means that I should be adding almost black, black, okay. Remember that sometimes this kind of high contrast is gonna 
look the face look kind of hard or stiff okay and we gotta control that uh, the idea for me is to get the softness I always I make the comparison that between an apple and a and a, a peach yeah okay an apple is kind of sharp shiny and a peach is kind of blurry soft and that's something kind of close to the skin the human face we need to get some softness sometimes contrast just play against us in terms of uh, getting the softness of the face because we want contrast in order to make our painting to pop yeah but we have to learn to control that thing about contrast uh, sometimes we add contrast without adding something dark and something light is contrast between temperature that add contrast too without adding a difference between light and darkness yeah. that's why uh, the highest contrast that exists if you ask anyone is gonna say black and white and not this black and white it's yellow and black black and white is just contrast between value and if you add to that contrast color that means that you have yellow and black like a, the highest contrast that we can that we can have Okay, hello Maji. Hello Vladimir, I feel that the face is a bit narrower than the one of tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I'm making a mistake there. I'm gonna check out on that, thank you Vladimir. Uh, thank you Morgan, Miriam, for instance, imagine there's some pressure when doing a commission. Oh yes, there is always pressure when I do a commission and maybe something that is just in our head eh? because things that we we waiting for some approval we get stressed, yeah? Sometimes I paint uh, something here on YouTube in three hours yes, I, I, I try to do that I mean, when I paint a commission sometimes I spend more than 20 hours and after 20 hours, it looks like just the result it was the same. And but it's different. It's different because I don't know. It's just that maybe it's just the idea that, that when I mean somebody's gonna say if that is wrong or not. And when you paint just by your uh, for you for yourself, that's different. If the painting is okay or not okay, who cares? Yeah? Sorry if somebody here <laughs> that feels okay. The dark part of the left nostril is a bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Thank you, Vladimir. Hello, did, uh, uh, hello, Maji. Maji, I'm about to finish up your painting. Okay, this Friday, this guy is coming just to take out this painting, and that's gonna be, I think, in mo Monday or Tuesday in Houston, and from there to your house. Okay, I'm gonna work on the nostril. Mm. 
Don't kill me, Margaret, please. That's my. I, <laughs> what happened with me with commissions is just like I don't know uh, I mean I have to work it does work yeah? me saying no to a commission is kind of I feel really bad and when I painted the commission I said Oh my god, I don't want to paint any commission anymore. <laughs> but I mean, I have heard the same from maybe a lot of painters. That's just a common thing. Eh? I think uh, when I was young, maybe uh, I have painted a lot of commissions. I think I loved, I just loved the challenge of painting a commission. Maybe that I'm getting older, I kind of I don't like the ch challenge anymore. <laughs> Okay, Maggi, do you want another commission? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Hello, Berfat. Hello, Blender Pretender. Uh, Blender Pretender, this thing about, I was speaking about contrast. I was just speaking in general terms about color contrast. About contrast in general. Okay. Uh, I have to step back. I need to check out. Mm. Mm. Okay, this area is just driving driving that my attention too much. I'm gonna just soft this edge. I don't wanna see that. I mean, every time that I check out here, I see this sharp. Okay. Okay. I think the eyes are kind of a little bigger. Mm. has more kind of a sleepy eyes a little bit sleepy eyes okay let's work here in this one For example, my, my dad, he's a painter too. Uh, uh, for example, speaking about this thing about commission, my dad, if I speak to him, with him about this, dad, I do, uh, about commission, he says, what? That's bullshit. Work is work. That's it. Nothing, I don't like this, I don't like that. No, you gotta work and that's it.
close close down the eye a little bit that's gonna help expression I think yep And changing the color for different areas for example here for this area I'm using more like a grayish color if I go to this area it's a different color if I go to this area here is more reddish color okay now let's work on the other eye I think that's, that eye is okay I'm just going to reduce the highlight Looks like Sylvester Stallone eyes. Yeah? <laughs> Let's work on the nose. I'm changing the color for the nose. Uh, I know you notice it's kind of more reddish orangey color. black and white this area here I'm gonna try to keep both okay you see this shadow this kind of reddish okay I'm gonna try to keep both this kind of bluish dark in that reddish color both living here together Oh, 
Oh, it's okay. I think I, I'm trying to get his expression. Maji, uh, I have been very happy with everything you've done for me. Okay, thank you, Maji. Uh, okay. Yeah, don't miss the like, please. Okay, I don't want you to subscribe to my channel. I just want you to like my video. <laughs> Zooming in to show you uh, at the same time because I see I, I'm just watching the screen too and I see the big eye. It's kind of uh, using an amplifier on my painting. The only problem that when I zoom is it's kind of the the the, the video goes a little bit darker. I don't know if you notice that. here a little bit transparent a little bit lighter just a little bit but I want to keep this kind of orangey reddish color yeah that's okay now I need to make grow one of the nostrils There's a link to the image. Remember, I try always to put a link to the image. And this way you can paint alone with me if you want. Okay, I know that I go a little, uh, maybe not, not too slow, but anyway, you can try just paint along with me if you want. Okay, I think I have to make the mouth a little bit wider. Okay.
Oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Marion. Nikki saying uh, when I join the higher tier, will be different speed than the 15, 15 tier or about the same. It's going to be different. We take a lot of breaks, like uh, the beginning, like a lot of breaks. I mean, a lot of breaks. And, and in the middle of the class, we take a, lot of, a 10, 15 minutes break. And we paint usually for an hour, four hours and a half okay, because at the end uh, it's four hours with, with all the breaks yeah, you gotta paint a little bit more to I mean to paint basically four hours without counting the breaks yeah. and uh, it's kind of difficult to keep up there are so many factors yes it's not just uh, that uh, because of I paint and I uh, definitely I'm trying to paint the slower and uh, uh, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do and I will try to paint even slower but the point is for you that you gotta paint you gotta pay attention to listen to me and at the same time try to see what I'm doing sometimes it does a lot of concentration yeah. but anyway I mean all the people that is taking the patron pain alone sessions with me I mean I can tell that all of them are improving and since since we if, if you, you we paint, I mean, anybody that paints regularly is going to improve. Yeah. And especially, I think, this thing about painting a portrait, trying to finish up a portrait in one session, a four hour session. I mean, it kind of uh, it's just put pressure on uh, on you all and take you out of your comfort zone and push you a little bit to practice more. And that's one of the reasons of of the improvement. Uh, Miriam is asking me what color you put on 
his beard beard uh, no it's just black and white just this ivory black is act, act like a blue a dark blue it's focus and concentration yes the, exactly making the brows a little bit darker another thing that you can do to support my channel if you want to is every time that you are about to buy any material you can use the links in the description box there is especially a link that you can use to buy I mean to get into Amazon and it doesn't matter what you buy I'm gonna get a commission even if you buy a, because I have listed some colors simple colors just basic colors and, and here in the description box but definitely you can just get to this link and buy anything I mean, if you use Amazon, of course. Hey, somebody was asking me to put another link to because this person she want she wanted to support me, but she used to buy from another another store. I think it was Brick. Brick. I don't, or, I don't remember the name or Gary San, Saitarama something like that I don't remember exactly the names of the stores I'm going to look for them to put some links to I'm just checking and squinting down my eyes. Uh, I just captured the screen here in my computer. I want to free pop the image. It's just like using a mirror. Okay, I mean using a mirror is just the, one of the best options to see mistakes. Obviously, are kind of difficult to sometimes to. I mean, for me right now, I don't have a mirror. I, I, when I want to use a mirror, I used to just um, do this, capture the screen, flip up the image, and compare. thinner and this thicker 
the nose I, I can tell that it's different uh, I think my nose is too pointy we see a lot of things when we use a mirror or when we just flip up the image that's the same I'm cutting the tip here of the nose let's see Okay, I need to make this a little bit darker. on the chin Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I gotta check out again here. Well, I mean, the whole mandible is, I think, is wrong. Yeah, something is not okay there. Just using black and white. Work here. And I'm gonna change to this dark warm color.
aqui. Okay. I think that's okay. Here too, I need more hair. Stepping back, it's going down always. Okay, I'm gonna reduce this brow here. I think I need to make the, maybe the nose a little bit wider here. And here too. Okay, I think the brow is okay. Yeah, reduce this brow a little bit more here, up here. Okay, I think I need to work more here, even more um, reduce, yeah, reduce the, the chain. Okay, I'm going to cut here a lot. I think that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I needed, I needed that. Okay. Mm, one thing that I'm checking out right now. I think I should make this eye a little bit sleepy. Let me see. Yes, a little bit sleepy. Yeah, that's better, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, I see the eye is really round, but that's, that's the difficult part here. That's not gonna be perfect. I just want that from some distance you see the portrait and everybody can say, oh, that's him. Looks like him, but details like that in a small portrait that's just kind of difficult. And for me, especially here, because I, like I said, I cannot get really close to the portrait because I have the camera in front of me. You see the camera is just here. And that's good for uh, for you because you can see like you're in front of the painting, you're painting. But for me it's not so good. And I have tried just to put the camera to my right and paint and no doesn't work <laughs> really good because I just keep I was I kept uh, blocking the the video the video with my head yeah. because since I had some I had some I have some space to get closer to the painting I usually imagine just yes, my head is gonna be just like here <laughs> And if my hairy, hairy arm is not, it's not like, <laughs> uh, how do you say, like, it's not bothering too much. Imagine my head. <laughs> Details, uh, what you also can do if you have paper, yeah, have paper, do a cup of coffee. Oh, oh, that would be really, really good. That would be really good to have, like, there is an, an app, I think, that is, is uh, the name is Buy Me a Coffee. I'm gonna use it. Uh. Now hit was some I think the chin needs a little a little special. Yeah, maybe it needs some light. Okay, Dita, good night. Nikki said that's a great idea to give friends a coffee break money. Wow, that was, was really good. <laughs> we, could, we could all buy him a cup of each video we learn from. Oh, wow, that's too much coffee. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, I think the nose is better. It could be even a little bit wider. Eh? I'm moving the light to make the nose wider. Maybe here. I don't know uh, the color of his eyes, but it looks like he has like a brown eyes or black eyes. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm adding some brush strokes like this. Just simple, just to add some, let's say, texture to the skin because it looks kind of soft, really soft, and I think that doesn't help uh, to the likeness. I think I'm getting close to the end. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna paint the T-shirt or the background. I don't see too much of the hair. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Oh, Nikki, you wanna order from Amazon? Oh, that's really nice of you. Thank you so much.
Okay, we're gonna say, oh no. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think maybe I should reduce here uh, the upper eyelid. Yeah. I think that's the last thing uh, maybe I'm missing. I'm gonna zoom in to see what I'm speaking about. Let's put a little bit of red. Moving this. a little bit. Sorry for my dog. Maybe some eyelashes here. Oh, oh, I see something more. I was missing something here. On the white of the eye, yeah, it's kind of flat. to eat. Hey, my dog is calling me. Tight time time to eat. She's hungry. I think that's it. Yeah, because I can't stay here retouching or retouching. But I'm hungry now. Okay. I gotta go to eat, take a rest, because I have a group class in a couple of hours. Question, questions uh, thank you Marion thank you thank you Nikki thank you Monique mm -hmm. uh, just in case you have not caught in yet the thumbnail for the last video is the same one from two videos ago yes oh wow I didn't read I mean I did the change I did I did change the thumbnail oh wow so sorry about that <laughs> okay I'm gonna check out on that I have to do that I mean I maybe maybe I have to do that twice because I, I did it you know yesterday I saw that as soon as I finished the video it just popped forward that the, the the th a thumbnail that uh, from a week ago. Mm. Miriam is telling me the reference for all his eyes looks 
look darker. Yeah. Yes, maybe he has black eyes. Hmm. Thank you, uh, Gian Philippe. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Yes, I, 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 you know, the, I can continue, but I don't know if I'm gonna do any good just to continue retouching or retouching. I would like to uh, work a little bit more on the hair, but anyway, I mean, maybe I'm just a little bit darker. Just here, a little bit darker. I know, but kind of, I like this kind of sketchy effect. thing that I'm going to do is just still soften edges, soften here, soften all this edge here, okay, soften here, all the here, all this area soften. I'm gonna keep this obviously remember more contrast to make the nose pop forward. We're gonna keep the contrast here. I lost this area. Okay. Maybe I need to make a neck a little thicker. Okay, I'm gonna soft this edge. Here too. Yeah, I think that works okay. Yeah, the idea, obviously, remember is if I make this lost, lost. Yeah, keep this sharp. This little thing area is gonna pop forward a little bit. Okay, that's the same here. I keep this, uh, let's say, lost and this sharp. Okay, it, ha it has to be subtle because the idea is just to, uh, it's, it's just like a, I don't know how to say it, but I don't want anything uh, like anybody notice something like so visible it's just like when you see a portrait you feel that this this is receding this and this and it's going like up it has something like this and this area is going it's coming forward and it's turning okay that's that's the idea This should be a little bit lighter. Okay, small, really small details that I love to uh, do some little things sometimes, but I know that maybe it does not gonna help too much to the portrait, but anyway. In this way I feel that I, I put a lot 
gonna make this a little bit more contrast contrasting this just here okay I wanna I, I want this to be sharp okay two hours and a half that's a nice practice yeah that's a, that's a really nice practice I always say practice because if somebody say oh the painting is too wrong it's just not, not okay I always can say can say that it was just a practice yes it was just an exercise <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, maybe a highlight on the nose, a little bit of a highlight here. Okay, that's it. Yeah, not. <laughs> yeah. I keep repeating, repeating this all, all, all paintings. Remember th this thing about playing with sharpness and softness on the edges helps a lot. Okay, and I keep repeating this because this takes a little bit of time. It's 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 not like okay. I I know that that's perfect my paintings are gonna get better no it takes a little bit of time for some reason uh, we just we have created kind of a habit of just see, seeing sharp edges okay and we think we love sharp edges we all love sharp edges we think that make everything pop forward but the thing is the balance between these two, two things uh, it's just like I said between without light without shadow you don't see light without light you don't see shadow between okay okay uh, between I say between okay I mean with with light you don't see shadow uh, vice versa it happens the same with soft and lost edges if you don't have lost edges you're not gonna see sharp edges if everything is sharp everything is going to cut your attention and we don't want that we, we want always to let's say we are the, the masters here we are the creators we want the, expect, exp, the viewer just see in a specific area first and we control that we have control on that and a portrait is kind of simple but trying that still life for him for example still life we gotta be able to control where is the viewer is gonna what object the object the viewer is gonna see first and second and third okay uh, we are the creators creators and is on our hands just to to try to put everything in some order that the viewer think 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 that they are watching. Uh, the, the things just in the way they think they are watching but the truth is that we are the ones that we guide the viewers eye on on the painting okay I think I misconfused myself with the explanation sorry about that
Okay, never realized how much Bruce looks like Al Pacino. Oh yeah, he looks like Al Pacino and he looks like uh, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I exaggerate and drop his eyes and make maybe make, make a, a bigger expression on the mouth, I have a uh, silver star stand on. Eh? <laughs> okay, see you next time. Thank you for being here. Okay, do you use the sword palette? No, no, this is not the sword palette. I'm kind of close, let's, let's say. And I, I was thinking to add yellow and blue, and I didn't. I was thinking to add permanent Alistair and Crimson, and I didn't. Okay. Uh, but I gotta say that's kind of close to the sound palette. Okay. Take care. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you Thursday and Friday. Bye. Bye, Miriam. Bye, Monique. Bye, Nikki. Barbara, I mean you all, thank you. Uh, I'm reading something, Blender, Pretender, you should totally try to do combination paintings. I don't get it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you anyway. Bye.